Well, I've got three strawberry plants that needed a home, so I think this pot's a good spot for them. And I'll fill this in, water it in, because these are really dry, and set it aside and do the next pot. And there they are, all planted in. Soil level's almost right. It will settle some with time, and I can add more soil to it. But for now, it'll do. Wow. Wow, look at that. I've got a couple ripe strawberries here in the other pot. Well, almost ripe anyway. These aren't doing too bad, but they're a little smaller and a little drier. So, I potted this pot about two weeks ago. I think that settled in. There we go. Settled in correctly. Anyway, I'll get these watered in well and pick the strawberries and share one with my wife and eat one myself. Okay, I've got a couple of cu cucumber plants I'm putting in here. It says to sow them 36 to 48 inches apart. That looks about right, doesn't it? No, no, hardly. But one of them may die. Oh, I put two in this pot. It's approximately an 18 inch pot. Yeah, there it is. I topped this one off with some of this organic potting soil. Set it aside, water it in, and get on to the next one. I decided to put some watermelon plants in here. This is a heirloom black diamond watermelon and it says plant if i can read that 36 inches to 60 inches apart so like six hours or more of sun a day so i'll just put it in this large pot it's that my hand span is about 10 inches so I'm assuming this is going to be about 20, 22 inches, something like that in diameter. Hopefully it'll be enough. We'll see. And I have three plants in here. I'm not going to separate them or cut them. We we'll just let nature take its course. Got a volunteer potato plant right here. That probably won't amount to too much. Got some lettuce spinach this lettuce lettuce has gone to seed and i keep pinching off the seed stalks so i don't know if it's going to be any good or not we'll find out well something's still eating my radishes that's the pepper plant and there's the radish plant it is literally or they are literally being eaten alive. I'm not sure again if the birds are looking for the moisture in the plant or they're getting bugs that are on the plant and just getting the leaves with them or they're just hungry and like that particular type of radish. Over here you can see that some of the this particular pea plant is being eaten. Little pieces of it are missing here and there. I guess whatever it is, the birds like that too. Update on these potatoes. They look like they're about getting ready to harvest. Two more days. My second stand of pea plants are maturing nicely. Lots and lots of flowers on them. And I've picked about three peas off of these so far. There's one right there that's 
getting ready to harvest another day or two there's a few more here I just can't see them offhand there's another one right there and here's a nice one right here I think I will harvest that one a little on the small side but still edible yum yum this is April 2nd 2021 just wanted to show you this right here this asparagus is growing outside of the bed that I planted it in asparagus will spread through their root system so obviously it's growing outside the bed which is fine have another nice little snack I frequently enjoy just standing or sitting out here watching the garden occasionally a bird will fly in and hide among the greenery there I don't know exactly what they're doing but they might be just cooling off or eating some of the plants or finding some bugs but anyway I still enjoy this I just enjoy sitting here watching it it's calming very calming